Good morning. My name is Bill. I'm speaking from Our Lady's Church in Herlev in Denmark. Welcome to this uh, Oblate family morning prayer. Let us begin as we always do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. May we use it to glorify you and praise you and to do your will. Today we offer our thoughts, words, and prayers, our joys and our sorrows to you. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Let's also remember our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. So let's listen to today's gospel reading. It's a very familiar one by St. Matthew, chapter eight, verses 23 through 27. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? He got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, Who is this? What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Twice the apostles were in a boat, and twice a storm blew up. One time Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat, as in this case with Matthew. The other time he walked across the waves. Both times, just as the apostles had reached their, the climax of their fear and their panic, Jesus calmed the wind and the waves. And any airport pa passenger, any airline passenger, who's been on a turbulent flight or experienced a rough landing can understand the panic and the fear that the apostles were feeling. In performing these miracles, Christ revealed his divinity to his apostles and to us. But Meister Eckhart, who was a 14th century mystic, asked us to look at it a different way. He compares the storm to our unsettled minds. And he writes that whoever would like to hear the word and be a disciple of Christ must, crop, uh, must cross over the rocking sea of their mind. Every day we find our, our minds tossing our attention like the waves that the apostles experienced. We are all victims of our wandering mind especially when we try to pray. And in, in Matthew's gospel, a little bit later in the gospel, as long as Peter was thinking about Jesus, he was able to walk on the water. And as soon as he thought of the wind and felt the wind in his face and his attention strayed from our Lord, he fell in the water. And so let us try, let us make an, a tremendous effort when we pray to not let our minds wander and stray. Let us ask the Lord to, uh, Lord, give us a quiet mind that we may pray to you without distraction. Lord, grant us a quiet mind that we may really hear your voice and your word. Let's just close with a, a a line from the Psalm 118. Let's give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us in our family morning prayer. Thank you.